You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? He seemed trustworthy. Difficult to know, really. But Sorona Ryan trusts him. Well, that's something, I suppose. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rockwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Must have snuck in after I fell asleep. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us. But I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace belonged to the first of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. Why would Katrin come back to rob the Hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? How should I know? 
she always despised this place. Resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. Are you sure Katrin is the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Katrin. But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden, and she knew precisely which homes to rob. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer, or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. What do you have for sale? I'd keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Cratchering will steal the eyebrows off you. I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty once night falls. Glad you were able to stop by. Rebellion. Now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Revelio. More gold. I must be getting closer. I'm Revelio. Let's see what's up his sleeve this time, Merlin. Revelio. I should investigate. And 
enjoy suffering, do you? Niffler. It wasn't Katrin Haggerty after all. Family heirloom. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. One more person asked me about her. <sighs> I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. I suppose, mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. I found your heirloom, and I'll give it back to you. For a price. Huh? I suppose that's only fair. Very well, we'll call it a reward. Sounds more decent that way. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm <gasps> most pleased to be included. Absolutely shameless. I have some good... As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. I have... What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least I got my heirloom back. <laughs> <laughs> 